She told me that I looked like an upholstered RV this morning. A from 70s, the 70s upholstered RV. She and you do. And, and I, that was a compliment. Hi, I'm Sophia. I'm Aurora. And I'm Olivia. And today we're showing Elle some of our favorite clothing pieces. Our love of fashion started at a very young age. This is embarrassing, but growing up, when Aurora would leave to go out with her friends, I would go up into her room, I would try on all of her clothes, and I would stand in her mirror and just like <laughs> pretend to be here. Because as a younger sister, you always want to be like your older sister. Yeah. So believe it or not, I know my closet is probably considered better than yours now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But it's growing true. up, Fair. I rated everything from her. We definitely have similar styles. I think growing up together, we learn from one another, but they're also pieces that are just different. I feel like we have completely yeah, I don't think we have different style. style. Yeah, Sophie's much more relaxed street style. I mean, you are younger, so you have that more Gen Z flair. You wear like one claw clips yeah. and small furry bags. But I feel like I, I learned everything yeah. from my older sister, so I've like <laughs> taken the pieces that I like and left the things that I don't like. I'm a little bit more like earthy, relaxed, comfortable, boho. Olivia's a little bit more like glam. So. Like I don't wear a ton of sneakers. She told me that I looked like an upholstered RV this morning. A from 70s, the 70s upholstered RV. She and you do. And, and I, that was a compliment. You look like you have two pairs of pants on. So <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. My most coveted comfortable item in my closet is definitely my Uggs. I love the low top because they're not too hot. They are like a house slipper and an outerwear shoe at the same time. I'm very passionate about this, as you can tell. I Hashtag am, not sponsored. I know it's not sponsored, but like literally I'm absolutely obsessed with my Uggs. It's like a dopamine reaction. I wanna go get into bed and watch a Great British Baking Show. I love you. So my piece, it's a little embarrassing, but I am known for wearing Skims boy shorts with everything. Olivia makes fun of me because she travels with, with thongs on and I always am wearing big underwear. Full <laughs> that, coverage. And are very comfortable. But I mean, come on guys, Skims boy shorts, you have to have these. I have them in every color. I don't like underwear lines. No, these are seamless. You can't see them. I can. Go. Turn around. <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> Turn you around. can't tell That's why she has these on today, <laughs> so that we can't see her underwear line. You can't tell. I can feel them. Well, nobody's getting that close to me. These are my most comfortable sweats from Farm Rio. The inside is this like velour. Oh, they're these are so good. soft. Yeah. Honestly, I wish they went higher. I wish they could just like go up to here. Oh yeah, they're, they're like, like armholes. There's just not enough. <laughs> Clearly I'm a comfortable, cozy girl because this is also a go-to of mine. More like just comfort factor, but also I love any type of matching set, whether it's a sweat set or a Canadian tuxedo set. This is just what I'm really into right now and you don't have to think. Wake up, throw it on, and these pants also just make your legs look so nice and long. <laughs> like I love dirty them. Dirty and wrinkled. I may have worn these earlier today. <laughs> I wear them. Too much, it's embarrassing. <laughs> so those are our comfy clothes. We do dress up from time to time. On the rack, I have a very special dress. This is Mugler. It's a bodycon gown that I wore on a carpet about six years ago. This will definitely be something that I hold on to for a while. Gorge, love the gem tones. When we do go to red carpet events, we do not coordinate. We actually have decided that we should try to start doing a better job because it can look a little confusing. But Sometimes it works, sometimes it's a disaster, so we should maybe coordinate a little yeah. better. So we all have those pieces that we know will look good on an Instagram photo. Some of my favorite photos, I'm wearing these. I love this look that I wear. It has a blazer over a button-up dress and these Paris, Texas boots. They are basically a neutral. I love them. They elevate every outfit. So my biggest splurge I'm actually wearing, they're my new Fendi heels, but my most sentimental splurge. This is the first bag I ever bought myself when I was 18 or 19 in Italy when I was abroad. Finally had like a job, I was making money and I was like, I'm gonna get myself a bag in Italy. I mean, it's so old now. I've worn it so many times, but I just can't get rid of it because it just means a lot to me. Love you. Mew Mew. So my most recent purchase is these super fun fall overalls. I just thought they gave me 70s vibes, kind of like Snow Bunny from Aspen. Also, it's by a brand that's made in LA, so I like to oh. shop local, Ellie Mae. 
This is the upholstered blanket yeah, this, this in your RV. Yeah, this does look like, maybe it I am into upholstered. I feel like grandma would have had a couch made out of this. I yes, think but that, I like them. But yeah. I love it. You do wear a lot of things that feel handmade. I like things oh. to feel organic, like there's a little bit of a story to them, history. No, I love it. I think if we all like the same things, it would be very boring. All so. I'm saying is like, I see pieces of each of our styles in one another, but none of them are fully the same. So while we do have totally different styles, there's one piece that kind of ties all of our styles together. And it's this vintage Missoni dress that I bought in college at a second hand store. It's just the perfect slip dress. It's definitely one of their older prints, but it's flattering on everybody's body We've type. All flattering on everybody's it. body. It's like colorful, which I feel like you love Aurora. It's designer, which it's I love. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. You heard it here. Yeah. You do love a comfortable slip yes, dress. Yes, I do love you a slip like, dress. You, whenever you come over and you come in my closet, you're like, do you have any potato sack dresses? Potato sack dresses. Yeah. You do just love a good, like, like straight sack dress. Yeah. Like you have one on the rack. Oh yeah, exactly. It's comfortable. Yeah. It's, it's got pockets, so it's very practical. I like when things are short, I do admit it. And this is a perfect cut for me, right above the thumb. That's like my <laughs> rule. <laughs> so it's super flattering, great for the holidays, not only because it's festive, but also it's loose, so you can eat whatever you want and you don't feel like it's gonna um, be uncomfortable. Plungy. I, plungy, I love it. I love this dress, it's so cute. For the show, all of our looks are organic. Not a lot of this is polished, so not a ton of styled looks, more of our everyday look, but of course, it also features working in events where we were styled, so it's, a, it's definitely the perfect balance of both. One of my favorite looks is from the opening of our family restaurant, Union in Maine. It's like a brown silk blazer with these really cool turquoise feather sleeves. I was very proud, because I put that look together myself with a pair of orange Paris Texas heels that I'm obsessed with. That was definitely my proud style moment, although you did make fun of my hair. It was this hair. Yes. Was this hair? <laughs> Two things I don't think many people have in their closet are crowns. <laughs> <laughs> this is my Miss USA crown. There you go. I know it well. Mm -hmm. she, she lets me polish it sometimes. Do you uh, still have the dent in your head? Probably. I joked that after Miss Universe and Miss USA, I had a dent on my head from wearing this so tightly because it would have to like really dig in right up here. But yeah, so this is a pretty sentimental. I don't plan on getting rid of these anytime soon. I don't know if the real real would take these. <laughs> yeah, they'd be yeah, like, no. mm. <laughs> You couldn't have won a third one? I have my Miss Rhode Island one. It's in Rhode Island. There are so many fashion staples that I could recommend. I would say everybody needs a lot large cashmere throw and a black and white t-shirt and a comfortable denim pant. That's it, I'm done. My biggest piece of fashion advice might not necessarily be one item, but to just have the confidence to wear what you want to wear and not worry about what other people think because it takes being creative to really find your style and find what works for you. And then accessories. You can make anything unique with just having really cool accessories. I think everybody should have a solid pair of over the knee boots. It goes great with any kind of dress or blazer dress, biker short, blazer. Just feel like it's sexy and you need it. Can I tell you what I thought you were just going to say? I thought you were going to say everybody needs an over the belly button, over the butt on <laughs> so I? I was waiting for like Boop oh, high God. underwear. I do have C-section underwear that I will never give up. It's very comfortable. Is this a wrap? Is she good? Are we good? Thank you so much for having us, Al. That was so fun. Don't forget to check out our new show, The Culpo Sisters, on TLC Monday at 9, 8 central.